Hello everyone and welcome to Matt's Race News. This week we do not have many races to go over, we just had two races, one at Port Royal and Lincoln Speedway. So, without further ado, let's look at the rest of the action. Friday, June 9th, Williams Grove was scheduled to race, but they ended up canceling due to rain. Fans were not pleased that the race was called after the storm ended and passed through and the sun was coming out. Very questionable call and teams were not pleased, but that's racing and it seems to be the precedent that Williams Grove has set in the past. On Saturday, June 10th, we had two races for 410 sprints at Port Royal and Lincoln Speedway, respectfully. Port Royal had Lucas Wolf control the first 10 laps before Jeff Halligan took the lead and controlled the rest of the race. Some good passes were going on throughout the race. Devin Borden was making some noise on the top side, which is no surprise trying to get into the podium places. Ultimately had to settle for a lower finish. Jeff Halligan was able to claim his first win at Port Royal for 2023 as well. Looking at the rest of the order, Lucas Wolf finished second. Dylan Sisney with a great run in third, Mike Wagner getting up to fourth, Ryan Smith rounding out your top five, Mike Walter starred first but ended up falling back to sixth, still a good top ten finish from him, seventh is where Devin Borden ultimately ended up on the night, a good run from Blaine Heimbach in eighth place, ninth Austin Bishop, and finishing inside the top ten was G-Mac Gerard McIntyre Jr. Lincoln Speedway had 29 cars for their show with 24 starting in the feature. During the race, Sane Rudisil had an incident and ended up breaking a cable in the fence which brought out an open red flag. Luckily he was okay and the race continued. Troy Roggeman led the first two laps but was quickly passed by Freddie Raymer which is not a surprise at this point as Fast Freddie went on to lead the next 33 laps for the win. This marks his sixth win at Lincoln this season, extending his already ginormous points lead for the track championship. In second place was Troy Roggeman driving the Hefner car, he was also the fastest in time trials. Third place was Chase Dietz, fourth Justin Peck, fifth place was Brandon Raymer, solid top five from him, sixth was Dylan Norris, who is second place in track standings, seventh was Tyler Ross, eighth Chad Trout, ninth Corey Haas, and Cam Smith rounding out your top ten. Looking ahead to next week, Friday, June 16th, will feature the USAC National Sprint Cars at Williams Grove, as well as the PA Posse 410 Sprint Cars. Saturday, June 6th, June 17th, at Port Royal, will have USAC National Sprints, USAC Silver Crown Cars, and the regular scheduled 410 Sprint Cars. This is personally one of my favorite programs of the year for Port Royal, with uh, three great series. And then Lincoln Speedway will also host a 410 Sprint Car Race and Super Late Models on the same night. Once again, I want to thank everybody who tunes into these videos. Next week, make sure to tune in. I'll be going over the weekly racing as well for PA Posse and any other news that may come up throughout the week. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys then. Thank you.